That didn't take long for the people over at Fox News to uh, basically have their heads explode over net neutrality. In a recent report, uh, in a recent segment on Fox News, uh, basically they went and said how the internet is now even worse now that we have the rules of net neutrality. Check it out. Ready, set, slow. The eyes have it. Just like that, the government grabbed control of the internet, approving 322 pages of new regulations that may limit broadband speeds and competition in what critics are calling a power grab. The internet as you know it has now ended. That's it? All right, guys, you can go home. The internet's over. Fox News, the, the internet, as we know it, it's over. It's gone. So what's going to happen to all the cat videos? Anybody? Anybody know? Anybody? Oh, oh come on. Obviously, this is crazy rhetoric from, uh, you know, lobbyists and people who are against net neutrality. The internet will be fine. The internet's going to be fine. In fact, it's going to be pretty much the same, but not according to Fox News. And not according to some of the companies, the ISPs, that were pushing for net neutrality. Check out Verizon's response to this whole ruling. Verizon says these are 1930s rules, even posting a lengthy statement in Morse code. So will you be impacted by today's ruling? Probably. There's a possibility that a couple months from now you could be watching Netflix and President Underwood. And if the picture keeps freezing, driving you crazy, any short-term gains in fairness could fall like a house of cards. Doom and gloom. Oh my God, the internet is going to be completely slowed down by, net new, by these new net neutrality rules, by all this regulation. It's going to be the 1930s, which by the way, the internet didn't exist in the 1930s. So Verizon, you're dumb. Uh, that makes it your argument is nonsensical. The fact is that net neutrality makes sure that every all content, regardless of where it comes from, is on an equal footing. It is equal. It is all neutral. Net neutrality. Now, to be fair, to be honest, and this what what this is really about, and I'm going to tell you what this is really about. This is really about Verizon not getting its way. But Verizon is an ISP. Verizon wanted to charge more for faster internet. What would happen without net neutrality rules is that you would have slower internet unless you paid. So the hypothetical situation Steve Ducey, or Steve Ducey, uh, his brother actually, um, what was it, uh, Peter Ducey, the situation Peter Ducey lays out is what would happen when if we didn't have net neutrality and Netflix decided not to pay the toll that they were going to have to pay in order to have faster service. So it's really funny watching conservatives slip out about something that they have absolutely no idea. They're claiming the opposite. And now that we actually have rules that enforce neutrality, they're claiming that these rules will lead to the opposite. It's amazing, and that's not, uh, that's, that's not accidental. That's actually intentional. Because they still have these lawsuits that are going to come through, and they want to get popular support. Unfortunately, they're not going to have popular support. For example, uh, there were 3.7 million comments made to the FCC on the topic of net neutrality. The people spoke. The people do not want the cable companies to come through and charge you for faster lanes, which essentially puts people in the slow lane if you don't come up with the money. It's like internet hostage taking. It's a toll road. And that's what it would let you. And of course, Verizon loves that idea. And these other ISPs that are fighting against it, they love that idea. Now, corporations like Google, however, they don't like that idea. And that's why they came out on our side. Now, fewer than 1% of the first 800,000 co public comments were opposed to net neutrality. So there you go. Net neutrality is by far incredibly popular. 
But Fox News is like, no, we're on the side of corporations. We want corporations to charge it, you know, everything. And plus, the internet is kind of destroying us. It's long jackasses like me to come and take their videos and then make fun of them. And I'm sure they don't like that. And actually expose their bullshit lies and not have to rely on a TV station to do so. Now, what would happen without net neutrality is somebody could shut down YouTube. They didn't like what they were saying. Oh, we're going to put you in the slow lane, your YouTube traffic, unless you pay, and then people aren't going to go to your site. That's the whole idea behind not net neutrality. That's the whole idea that Verizon and other big corporations and media companies love. Now, not only that, but Verizon spent over $15 million lobbying against net neutrality. So, really, you can see why they would put out this ridiculous Morse code bullshit statement 